Uh, let's first create an empty, empty blank project. Let's call it uh, construction test. Okay, so let's initiate our editor. Because in that one, we could not see actually um, in edit mode how, how our creation would like, right? Would, would look like. So, uh, I will show you now another way to actually do this. Oh, what is here? Okay, some, yeah, some effect. So, to start, we will create a blueprint and I will call it uh, an actor. And I will call it grid creator. Okay, so basically what we will create is something that will basically generate a grid also, but we will be able to see that grid right here in edit mode. So what I will do now is open this with double click. Let's put it here. And now uh, the next step, what we will make is add a new component, which will be instant st static mesh, okay? Um, here we will just set some mesh for it. In this case, I will choose a cube like this one, which is of size 100 by 100 by 100, okay? Like if you are not able to see this object, you have to hear in the settings, uh activate show engine content okay this is important because otherwise you would not see that contents okay so yeah ah oh, sorry here yeah and the cubes uh, yeah okay so that's it show engine content and you will see all the con wow okay now it was disappeared uh, I, I put it okay so so there we have, we have uh, selected our static mesh. So instant static mesh is set. Okay, now what we will go is to construction script. And here we will make something very, very simple, which is basically at instance. Okay, as you can see, automatically it sets the target as the instant static mesh. Okay, so okay, let, let's try this, let's compile it, and oh, we can see there is an error. Why? Because we have to set, as you can see in the console, we, we have to set the instance transform. So let's do this and let's use make transform. Okay. Um, so we now we can try compile again and it's working no errors we have our transform our target everything set so now if we go back to our game and we can try now actually you can see already the thumbnail is the cube okay so we actually when we put it here we can see we already have a cube right well, and actually you can see one interesting thing is that it's exactly in the center, like like the blueprint itself, it's, oh, okay, the camera is super fast. I don't know why, but you can see like it's right in the center. So if now we, for example, want to snap it to the ground, it's the center of the object is snapped to the ground. Okay, which is not really, very nice, but well, We will not now take care about this. Okay, so let's continue. So now our goal is to generate not one, just just one cube, but a whole grid, okay? So to achieve this, we will have to add another loop, which is a for loop, okay? And we will put it this right in the middle. Pum, pum, pum. and here we have to indicate some last index right we can say for example well, nine because it's from zero to nine so now it should generate right uh, a grid of nine but all are in the same position 
okay because we have some static transform set to zero right so we need to basically modify the transform based on the index yeah it's almost the same uh, script like i used in the other video okay but i actually haven't explained very well in the other video this part but here basically what we have to do is to use another node which is make vector okay because here we can actually set each of the parts the x y and z and we want to actually link the index while well, using multiply we want to increase by 100 I mean the index by 100 because the size of the cube is 100 but we want to be a grid right we don't want that it's like uh, a rectangle so we will add 200 so we will have 100 like space in between and we can set it to the x to the x okay because yeah and this node actually what it does it just converts the inter integer to a double okay so we can now try this let's see what's going on oh okay so we can see here we have already 10 cubes but just in a row like it's not great yet but now it's just uh, a line okay so the next step will be actually to extract this number okay because we want maybe to control the the size of our grid from here no maybe from the from the details panel so to to achieve this we simply have to create a new variable here we will call it grid size which will be an integer and now we will put it here get grid size okay but i don't want exactly the 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 same number to the last index because actually since it starts from zero we should go to nine if the size is 10 so we need to also subtract Oops. bit uh, subtract mm, where is the note subtract mm, minus no here is subtract I don't know why it, it didn't appear but okay so we have to do this okay and we subtract one therefore the grid size if it's 10 the last index would be nine and now we also have to say say here instance editable so it appears in the details panel so now if we compile this and we go here you can see the grid size is actually set to zero but we can increase this uh-huh and we can see immediately like how it's increasing okay cool so now we have just to do it for the other axis right so we can create the grid so to achieve this is to add another for loop okay so we will actually move all of this stuff a bit and we will duplicate this actually we can yeah yeah we, we will duplicate this and now this execution will go to the other one and this one to the last one okay so we will have basically two for loops and this to here so because we want to to have it the same the same amount of rows and columns but if we want to have it different differently so we would have to duplicate this and use one for the x-axis and other for the y-axis 
okay and now we have to also duplicate this because this will go no sorry sorry all of this no just the first two yeah the, just the first two because this will go here and this will go to the y okay it's a bit messy here but yeah it sh that should be it. Yeah. yeah that should be it so now if we go back we can see already we generated a grid of size uh, of size where are where is our grid creator okay size 7 and we can increase this as long as we want okay Oop. yeah 40 or 5 anything you want actually to make it even more fun we can add another one so it's three-dimensional so we are not creating a grid but a whole three-dimensional cube <laughs> so we can simply copy again this part and this will go to the z-axis again compile oh, what happened ah yeah i forgot to add the index here and now compile and we have a cube right and we can increase this cube as long as we want so we can say 20 and we have a huge cube of cubes okay so that's it okay, that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed you learned something new and that's the benefit of the construction script that you can actually put scripts that will be executed during edit mode you even not have to start the game to to see the result see we are already in game and we still have them there yeah i think that's very really cool and very useful actually especially if you want to generate a lot of stuff during edit mode because if we create the stuff in the blue the level blueprint like here open level blueprint then it's actually it's executed when we are running actually the game no not before so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one